Hey, what's up guys? Shadat here with Arduino Point. Help you to make this useful Arduino Firearm project. Coming up. Here is a circuit secondary diagram you need to follow. Let's set up the components. First take a breadboard and Arduino board. I use Arduino Uno. You can use any Arduino board. Arduino Uno 5 volt pin goes to plus and ground pin goes to minus of the breadboard. Take a MQ2 get sensor. The MQ2 get sensor is an electromechanical sensor that varies its resistance to different flammable gas concentration. Here this is the analog pin, digital pin, ground, BCC. Output LED, Power LED, this is a 10K preset potentiometer. Adjust the sensitivity of the MQ2 get sensor by rotating the preset knob. The MQ2 get sensor sensitivity will increase if the preset knob rotates clockwise. The sensitivity of the MQ2 get sensor will decrease if it rotates counterclockwise. Here BCC and ground pin goes to plus and minus of the breadboard respectively. And analog pin A0 goes to A0 of the Arduino. Take a flame sensor. The flame sensor module is a small electronic module capable of detecting a fire source or other light source. The sensor basically detects light wave IR infrared from a light source or from a fire flame between 760 nanometer to 1100 nanometer. Here this is a digital pin, ground, PCC, output LED, power LED. This is NK preset potentiometer. You can adjust the sensitivity of the flame sensor by rotating the preset knob. The sensitivity of the flame sensor will decrease if it rotates counterclockwise. And the flame sensor sensitivity will increase if the preset knob rotates clockwise. Here BCC ground pin goes to plus and minus of the breadboard respectively. And digital pin D0 goes to digital pin 2 of the Arduino. Take a buzzer for MQ to get sensor. This plus symbol terminal is positive terminal. Take another buzzer for flame sensor. The positive terminals of the buzzer go to digital pin 5 and 6 respectively. And negative terminals goes to minus in the breadboard. A red LED is used for MQ to get sensor. The positive terminal goes to digital pin 3 through a 220 ohm resistor. Another red LED is used for flame sensor. The positive terminal goes to digital pin 4 through a 220 ohm resistor. A green LED is used for no fire. The positive terminal goes to digital pin 8 through a 220 ohm resistor. The negative terminals of all LED goes to minus in the breadboard. Our Arduino Fire Alarm project setup is complete. Now it's coding time. Connect the Arduino board to your computer or laptop by USB cable. First open Arduino ID. Here we declare which Arduino pins the LEDs, buzzers and sensor are connected to. We have to use PWM pin for the buzzers because we tune the buzzers a specific frequency. This is the threshold value of the gear sensor. When you use a analog output from a sensor, you need to set the threshold value. The threshold value is a value which is compared to another value. It is needed when you want to apply some condition to a sensor read value in the code. In this voice setup, I declare the input and output pin. Coming to the void loop, analog read reads the value from the gas pin. Digital read reads the value from the flame pin. This line print the text gas pin value. This line print the value of the gas sensor variable. In the same way, this line print the text flame pin value and this line print the value of flame sensor variable. Here we use delay. Delay pause the program for the time specified as a parameter in millisecond. Here we use 100 millisecond. If gas sensor is greater than gas sensor threshold and flame sensor is equal to low, red LED 1 will be turned on and buzzer 1 will be tuned at 5000 Hz frequency. Also red LED 2 will be turned on and buzzer 2 will be tuned at 5000 Hz frequency. Also green LED will be turn off. In the same way, if gear sensor value is greater than gear sensor threshold, this code will work. And if flame sensor is equal to low, this code will work. Flame sensor equal to low means flame detected. Some data sheet of the flame sensor say that when flame is detected, flame sensor produces a low signal or voltage. And some data sheet say opposite. In my case, it is low. It is best for you to check your flame sensor output. Easiest way to check the
the output C in the serial monitor. Here 0 means low and 1 means high. If it is 1 for your flame sensor, you will need to change the code. Here we have to write flame sensor equal to high. Go to tools, then drop down to board, then click the current Arduino board and its port. Hit the upload button. The code is successfully uploaded. Click the serial monitor which location is upper corner of the right side. After that we get a new window that shows the value of MQ2 gear sensor. We need to set the threshold of the MQ2 gear sensor for the amount of flammable gas or smoke that we want to detect. We should set the threshold value a little more than the MQ2 gear sensor value that show in the serial monitor. But you can set the threshold up to 1023. Higher value threshold means more flammable gas or smoke. Now we upload the updated code. We need to adjust the sensitivity of the flame sensor for the amount of light wave infrared or flame that we want to detect. The output LED is of that less resistance. We should set the resistance. But you can set the resistance up to 10 kilo ohm. Higher value resistance means bigger flame. Finally our Arduino fire alarm is completely ready. Now let's see how this Arduino fire alarm performs. Here green LED is on that means there is no fire or gas or smoke. The flame sensor actives one buzzer and one red LED when a flame is detected. When the MQ2 gear sensor detects flammable gas or smoke another buzzer and another red LED turn on. Both buzzer and red LED are turn activated when the sensor detects flame and flammable gas or smoke at the same time. Thanks for watching and for more projects like this visit my official website arduinopoint.com. Stay tuned for more interesting projects coming soon.